Sometimes the pressures of the world are just too much. And we often pray that we can overcome the world, as it says in the Bible, that we don't look to appearances, that we look with our spirituality, that we're empowered by our spirituality. In John 16.33, it says, I have overcome the world. Well, Jesus spoke many times a commanding word of peace. And that time that he spoke a commanding word of peace to the raging waters that threatened to overcome the boat that was carrying him and his disciples. The waves, knowing the voice of the master, became still. All right-thinking persons desire a world of peace. You do. You desire today that your world will be in peace. Conflicts between people, like waves, they seem to go on and on. They seem to get higher and higher. And yet how easily Christ quieted that storm on the Sea of Galilee. How easy it would be for the creator of the constellations and galaxies to bring peace to all of humankind. But humans, being given free will, must activate the Spirit of Christ within themselves to bring this about. Each one can help to maintain a world of peace by starting within themselves, by you starting within yourself today, by saying in yourself, peace, be still. And every time you have an impulse of inharmony or anger, you open yourself up instead to the Christ love and the Christ peace, and you help lift humanity to a higher spiritual consciousness. Spiritual attitudes carry influence beyond possible realization. They go beyond what we contain within ourselves. Attitudes of love, Attitudes of joy, attitudes of peace can add harmony not only to ourselves, but our whole world.